Cory Booker, and I, like so many in our city, are just saying enough. We have had a significant reduction in shootings in our city, but it is still too many. There are a small group of people in our city that think they can walk around with guns. It is unacceptable. But we can't just wish this will stop. We can't just hope this will stop. We as individuals have to do something about it. So we have a program in our city right now that's completely anonymous, and we will give you cash, $1,000, to anyone who calls our anonymous tip line. Give us the information about who is carrying a gun. And if we don't even have to have a conviction, if we arrest that individual and simply get that gun off the streets, you call back, get your second group of digits, go to a bank or send somebody to a bank, and they will give you $1,000 in cash, no question asked. This is the best program in the country. A quick $1,000. If you know somebody carrying an illegal gun, give us the information and get the money. $1,000. We cannot afford to have one more person in our city shot. We cannot afford to have one more such crime happen to devastate families to rip the fabric of our community. I won't accept it. We're getting so much better in driving the rate of shootings down in our city. But now I'm offering you $1,000 for a little bit of information to help us keep our city and our communities even more safe. Step up. Stand up. Let's get these guns off our street. $1,000. Thank you. Today is August 25th, Thursday, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part three, the final part for today. We'll be covering Big Brother, surveillance, uh, police, state, eugenics, and science. So uh, stick with me here. Um, right here is a poll. What type of false flag government-sponsored event is most likely in the next 18 months? You can go in there and check that out. Uh, also, you can follow me by email. Um, you can check out my news archive. And uh, you can join me on uh, Facebook, Global Government News Group, and uh, all these uh, links will be posted in YouTube's video description, so check them out. Um, okay, we're going to start off with uh, some Big Brother surveillance, Nokia Siemens uh, spy uh, tools aid police torture in Bahrain. Uh, it says here, spy tools sold and maintained by German communications and engineering giants, uh, Nokia and Siemens networks are being used by authorities in Bahrain to aid their interrogation and torture of human rights activists, according to Bloomberg. And of course, this is all being swept under the rug because, well, it's not about humanitarian issues, it's about resources. And the U.S. already has their naval bases and all that in Bahrain, and uh, so they don't really need a regime change. It says here, RFID implants won't rescue the people kidnapped in Mexico. So it says here, kidnaps in Mexico have worsened in the last five years, skyrocketing by 371%. So too had the demand for RFID implants that were said to allow authorities to find the victims, except for one thing, they don't work. So there you go. So you're going to get radiated, though. And it uh, goes on here. It says it charges people seeking the implant $2,000 up front with an annual fee of $2,000 uh, for their money implant. Customers get a radio frequency identification chip implanted into the fatty tissue of the arm. So uh, you can be rest sure they're going to get some cancer or a tumor. Uh, advertisers uh, start using facial recognition uh, to tailor pitches. And don't forget, uh, uh, there's a possibility that these RFID chips could be uh, what some uh, uh, Christians and religious folks call the mark of the beast. I mean, if they start putting these things in your forehead, they're going to, I mean, that's right around your pineal gland. And um, I just, uh, I think, well, actually not me. I've heard this from uh, someone, and it sounds pretty uh, 
uh, possible is that there uh, these cops, these police, um, have chips in them. They actually have these chips in them, and they can be manipulated uh, in order to make them very violent, uh, which you're seeing. It's either the steroids or it could be chips already implanted in officers to keep them in case they get kidnapped. So there you go. Advertisers, uh, advertisers start using facial recognition to tailor pitches. One of the stuff of science fiction and high-tech crime fighting. Facial recognition technology has become one of the newest tools in marketing, though privacy concerns abound, which it doesn't really effing matter because, like I said before, they're going to do it anyways. So now um, I can't go in an airport. Now I'm never going to go step foot in a mall again. Um, I haven't been in one in a long time. Uh, I think it was uh, Coles or something like that, but I didn't actually go through the mall, and so and I already knew about these because these aren't new. They've actually been around for a couple of years now, and that's why I've been avoiding. So, uh, Paris Airport testing holographic staffers, and uh, you can go in there and talk about 2D holograms are simple, uh, but guess what? This is going to do what? Uh, it's going to take away uh, Susan blah 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 Smith, who's got a job and paying uh, uh, bills to pay and feed her kids. So now she's going to lose a job because the holograph's taking it. Lukey Phillips stripped naked when told she would be searched at Bermuda's LF Wade International Airport. This is what I said. Uh, uh, just, you know, they're going to get stupid. Then, you know, just say, okay, if you're going to grope me, you're going to molest me, you're going to take advantage of me, and I'm going to lose my privacy, well, then I'm just going to lose it all. And um, like I said, let's get stupid. So, and uh, so here, here we go. Smart CCTV could track riders, and it says here that it can be automatically monitor criminal behavior and track suspects is being developed by UK scientists. So it says it uses artificial intelligence to recognize specific types of behavior, such as someone holding a gun. Ooh, someone holding a spear. See, back in the day, you could walk around with your spear. Now you got to hide it, right? And the pigs, they get to carry it nice out in the open like I saw them uh, a week ago. And they were talking about, uh, I overheard him. He was talking to some other slaves about, oh, you know, I guess he must have forgot who's wearing the gun. And I didn't even hear it. I just figured he was a cop. And then when I was walked on the block, I noticed that he was actually wearing one. So And he was wearing the same color, navy blue, uh, dark navy blue shirt. So he was a pig. And uh, that's how they think. That's how they feel. That uh, they're the only ones that are allowed to have guns. And unfortunately, like in that video when they said in the beginning about uh, we're going to get all the guns off and there will be no shootings. Well, unfortunately, the only shootings that are going to be going on are going to be cops shooting innocent people or people that are uh, committing victimless crimes. So... But uh, eventually, nobody will be armed. Slaves uh, won't be armed anymore, and that's why they have new uh, modern cattle prods known as tasers and uh, other forms of uh, sound cannons and, and other little gadgets to keep the sheep uh, basically on the farm and, uh, and behaving. So, see? And behaving to behave like a beehive. So, see that? says here a judge says warrant required for cell phone location data so they can still track you with those things no matter what uh no you need a warrant right i'm gonna believe that all in the name of terrorism guys anything goes so you lose your rights so hospital patients now being microchipped with electronic tattoos so you saw this on youtube it's real cute and awesome and how it's gonna be so cool and be microchipped is now being spun as a method of protecting the health of hospital patients, much like those uh, RFIDs uh, that you put in there to store your health information. It says the mass of practices bodily invasion with a trendy high-tech appearance. Microchipping sensors are being referred to as electronic tattoos. They can attach to human skin and stretch and move without breaking. It talks about how the development will transform uh, computer gaming and even spy operations and even. Uh, give me a fucking break. That's what it was created for. Jesus Christ, you know? And even that was the first reason it was created for the last reason that those bastards give you. And uh, uh, also for what? For the eugenics complex known as a hospital where you go to get help and they actually hurt you. Um, it says here, Germany Facebook like button violates privacy law. So a German privacy group says the use of the Facebook like button leads to profile and that infringes German and European data protection rights. Got to keep moving. Warning as children shuns book books in favor of Facebook. And don't worry, now you have a Kindle, right? A nice little Kindle, which has to do with what? Fire and burning books. So don't worry. You already have something. You don't even have to burn books. They'll just do it. That's social engineering, and it's been going on for since you were born.
UK's Titan's grip on social networking. Well, it says here, Facebook and Twitter to oppose calls for social media blocks during riots. And it says here, UK opts not to block social media during riots. So uh, we'll see about that, right? Again, I don't believe it. Chinese regime calls for stricter internet censorship and, well, they do need to because you know what? I've started to get views for the first time in China for the past month, so they better crack down on that. You don't want a little bit of truth getting out there. It says here, China's culture ministry bans songs from artists including Lady Gaga and Backstreet Boys. It says here, 15-year-old schoolboy on trial after head teacher tells police about his file sharing. So there you go. Uh, and uh, basically snooped out by his, uh, uh, basically, his teacher. It says here, an hour of TV can shorten your life by 22 minutes. It's like smoking uh, two cigarettes. It says here, survey teens on Facebook more likely to do drugs. And then we have uh, a country in Africa, drug use on uh, the increase among kids. So, and uh, you can go in there and check that out. I got to keep moving. I have a lot to cover still. A million drinkers end up in hospital every year, a 25% rise. Uh, in a half a decade, and then, uh, and of course, uh, where, where are all the potheads in the hospital? Well, they're not there, but we've got to have a war on a war on pot and a war on drugs. Chris Geo arrested by Homeland Security for standing on his Fourth Amendment right. There's a video. Check that out. Check town to ban homeless from sitting, leaning, lying on public facilities. So no loitering, poor people. Elm. Hearst College in Illinois asked prospective students about sexual orientation. Then uh, HHS, that's a Health and Human Services, children are sexual. And it basically goes in there and uh, tells parents how to raise their children and uh, talking about uh, sexually about the same sex and the opposite sex is quite common as teens sort through their emerging sexual feelings and they may experiment with sexual experiences. And so go on there, you can read that crap. It says here, a sort of mating to blame for the rise of autism. So that's the cause not uh, vaccines. Hmm. Interesting. It says here, strange beautifuls, questionable, nail polish shade, weird beauty. And uh, let's just look at this one right here. Menstrual last day. That's right. Menstrual blood last day is a lipstick. So go in there and check that out. It says here, the last of the Aryans. And it says here that uh, German women uh, have been traveling to Indian villages by the line of control in Kashmir to get impregnated by men they believe to be racially pure Aryans. Then pornography linked to huge rise in plastic surgery for women. Then paintball shot ruptures women's silicone breast implant. Pregnant women now being dosed with toxic chemotherapy drugs. Chinese woman keeps mentally ill son chained in bar for 23 years. Now she wants someone to take care of him. I'm not joking. Go in there and check that out. Uh, DHS giving 2.1 billion in preparedness grants to cities, Indian tribes, and have you guys noticed the amount of uh, radio PSAs have been going on about a disaster? You, you wonder why? They know what's coming. Largest Colorado quake since 1967 shakes homes. Strong uh, East Coast quake, highly unusual. That means harp. Rare earthquake shakes New York, sending residents scrambling. They're thinking about, oh, it's 9-11 again, 9-11 again. So more printing, imprinting, and programming going on. Nuclear plant near Epicenter. That's where it was struck because that's how you know it was harp. Induced uh, basically at the Epicenter shuts down. So nuclear plant uh, armed of crucified Jesus, uh, sheared off by earthquake. They're talking about how evoking great hurricane memories of 38 so they're telling you how many people are going to die hurricane irene uh, talking about north carolina imposing mandatory evacuation that's the key thing to look at here guys new york considers possible hurricane evacuations and even new jersey uh, is talking about evacuations. We have Harp Hurricane Irene and the D.C. earthquake. Are they connected? Go in there and check that article out. It'll be posted. Fukushima uh, Sasium leaks equal 168 Hiroshima's. Uh, many vaccines contain polysorbid 80, which can cause anaphylactic shock. Then DR Congo to kick off another anti-polio vaccine uh, campaign. That means they're against vaccines? No, it means that they're against uh, polio. BMJ admits that a uh, fraud claim against Dr. Andrew Wakefield has no basis in fact, and cholera spreads in Somali camps, which is exactly what they want. Uh, superbug risk to children given too many antibiotics, killing bacteria that fights diseases, and experts find a way to make mosquitoes denate. Monsanto GM corn in peril. Beetle develops BT resistance, and China must be wary of genetically modified food. Scientists respond to overuse of agricultural chemicals by genetically engineering crops to produce their own fertilizer. Africa megacities could trigger water shortages and social unrest. That's why they want megacities. The eugenics hubs, Martin Luther King Memorial made in China, and a 
villager in China loses toes for resisting eviction. Thank you.